¿Cómo están? Bienvenidos a otro video. This video, este video, is on a total whim. Como es de la nada. Yo no estaba planeando este video, pero así salió, chicos. Puedes ver el paisaje hermoso de Antioquia al fondo. Y este video se trata de cómo es una experiencia auténtica de irse a una finca, en otras palabras, finquear aquí en Colombia. Y es una de las experiencias que tienes que vivir si visites Medellín. Muchos colombianos se van a la finca, van a la finca durante Puente, que es el día festivo o algo así. Y voy con mis amigos, es un grupo como de gringos y colombianos, de chicos, chicas, lo vamos a pasar súper, súper rico, somos como 80 personas, entonces, bueno, quedan pendientes para muchas cosas, muchas cosas emocionantes. Eh, voy a estar grabando todo este fin de semana. Entonces, no, no guns. Shoot! I wanted one! Estamos montando la finca en una chiva. It's a Colombian party bus. Right out of a psychedelic Beatles song. Let's go. That is go, go, go! Uh, gracias. Oh? Okay. Get over here. Barbie, yes. I'm Barbie this weekend. Es un, es una finca de, de Halloween. Y yo tengo mi outfit de Barbie porque la gente me llama la Barbie. Soy alta, rubia, etc. Entonces, ¿qué pendiente pendiente para eso? Llegamos a la finca, la casa es súper gigante, obviamente para todos nosotros, todos, son, todos están locos por festejar, por tomar. Siempre, obviamente hay una piscina grande, billar, ping pong, etc. para pasarlo súper bien. Hey guys, so this is part of me in English. I've been kind of distracted and I haven't been like filming. <laughs> But I want to explain to the people who don't know what uh, a finca is. And then I have my friend Darwin over here and he's gonna explain in uh, Espanol uh, for people that don't know what a finca is and what is like to go to a finca in Colombia. So basically, a finca is a like like a townhouse or in Spanish it would be casa campo, right? Casa de campo. Casa de campo. Okay. De campo. Okay, I'll say it in English and then you say it in Spanish. Like okay. just oh, the explanation. Okay. <laughs> so basically it's like a big house. Are you not speaking English? It can be like eight people to a house for like eight people. 
or or more. I've seen fincas for like 35, I don't know. Oh, oh 10. Um, no way. You think? Yeah. I don't know. But anyways, this this house, there's like 80 of us here at this finca. <laughs> I said I wanted to film here because Tenemos behind que dormir us, con las vacas. we have the vacas. <laughs> Dormi con las vacas. So this is what like a casa campestre is. It's like, it's like out in the country, it's outside of the city. So this is something that a lot of Colombians do when they want to, you know, get away for a weekend. It's kind of like the Colombian version of a lake house, kind of. Um, but a lot of people that like own the fincas, you know, rent them out and big parties, big groups, families for events, you know, rent them. ¿Qué más se hace en una finca? Hay piscina. Piscina, piscina, eh, de fútbol a licor, veces, licor, licor, obvio, canchas eso de es fútbol. Eh, muchas camas, muchas camas, muchas camas. Si hay playa, hay alcohol, si hay alcohol, hay sexo. y soy la única en el cuarto quiero mencionar algo like super importante porque la razón porque yo me estrasé de Barbie es porque muchos me llaman Barbie pero lo que no me gusta es que la gente me ponga en una caja que dice que tal persona que se ve así como yo alta rubia ojos claros es así no pueden encabezar la idea de que yo soy así afuera pero soy otra persona completamente en dentro. Cuando la gente me vea, me vea como un sorority girl, like Barbie, like tonta, like whatever. But yo no soy así cuando me, cuando me conoces de fondo. Yo no creo que nadie debe ser juzgado, juzgado así, de esa manera. Nosotros somos más que nuestros cuerpos, somos seres complejas, eh, complejos, somos más que nuestros cuerpos, somos más que nuestras apariencias físicas. Entonces, créeme cuando digo esto que, like, esto es algo que he estado sintiendo por años, por años, de la manera que me expreso aquí en Latinoamérica. Es muy difícil a veces expresarme de la manera que quiero con la gente que no entiende como una gringa puede ser así. Aquí estoy conociendo a muchas personas de otros países que hablan otros idiomas, entonces normalmente la, la conversación empieza como que, ah, ¿qué idioma, qué idioma hablas? Inglés, español, eh, o de dónde eres. Y siempre digo esto, que cuando tú dices de dónde eres, es porque estás intentando saber algo de esa persona, ¿no? Pero en mi caso, yo no comparto o yo no siento que comparto nada culturalmente con el lugar donde nací Omaha, Nebraska like, Nebraska like, is a red state es un, es un estado republicano like, yo no soy republicana <laughs> republicana yo hablo español créeme cuando digo que yo no soy quien crees que soy <laughs> por mi apariencia física pero este Barbie es como un satire de eso porque me, me veo una Barbie pero realmente no que nadie te diga que puedes ser, hacer, crear, lograr por el lugar donde naciste o cómo te ves afuera, en el exterior y este mensaje aplica para gente que por ejemplo no son cómodos en, en sus propios cuerpos Uh, gente trans, eh, gente multicultural, gente bilingüe, gente que no, they don't fit in that box, no encaje en esa caja que nos quiere poner el mundo. Y de verdad chicos, me siento eso demasiado aquí en Latinoamérica. La persona corriente, digamos, que no es tan uh, cultured, like, no tiene experiencia viajando, 
y piensan tal cosa de gente de allá, ¿no? Ah, no. Si tú me dijeras, yo soy de África y tú no eres negro, yo no voy a decir que, like, ¿cómo así? Todos los que son de África son negros. No. África, África es un continente, es el continente más grande en todo el mundo, entonces, I don't know, it's just things like that. Like, I hate to be stereotyped. I hate to be stereotyped and that's exactly why I feel so strong about breaking stereotypes that the Latinos themselves are subject to. So, yeah, long rants, broken up. No, but I'm done, I'm not really done. In the moment, this is what we do in Pink as we dance in our rooms. We do dance outside, but no. I feel like I should have been um, saying the time every single time that I was filming because it's 2 a.m. I have mentally prepared myself to be up for a long time and we were saying that we should do this every two months and I every said two every two months and I said it is healthy it is healthy to party right, every, every two months, months. To let off steam. Adam, every two months. This is about health, really. <laughs> We're here at 3 a.m. now. I mentally prepared myself for this, but my friends are like, they're falling, they're dropping like flies. Music's still going, yeah? Music out our window is definitely still, still going way over there. What is happening? Oh, okay. We have a nose bleeder right over here. We have a nose bleeder right there. <laughs> right there. At 3 a.m. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> Anyways, um, I highly doubt I'm going to be awake at 4. So, wow. You got to really prepare yourself for Chiva nights and Finkas. Because Colombian party so hard. Don't be surprised if the music never stops. Or if you end up sleeping somewhere other than the bed you pay for. I'ma do it anyway, gonna be up, want your bad up. I'ma let my hair down now. Gonna get down to my favorite sound. I'ma let you in real close. I know I shouldn't do this right. I'ma do it anyway. I kinda wanna lock this down. Things you should bring, and this is a non-exhaustive list. Toilet paper, because the place is probably not gonna have any. A sheet and or, and a pillowcase, because <laughs> uh, they also, the beds might not have them. Free sun block. I'm stupid and didn't bring mine. <laughs> but trust me that in the morning, you're all gonna wanna go out to the pool and get clean from the water and all the sweat you had partying the night before. Lip flops for sure because the bathrooms, depending on, again, this is all depending on like the kind of finca. You could have a really nice finca, like super modern, <laughs> with like hot water. But most fincas will not have hot water um, because they're built for big groups. And this group that I'm with is like, I don't know, like 60 people. Some people went home last night. But what else? Um, swimsuit, obviously, and your own liquor. <laughs> I think is an 
also a good idea because very quickly, oh, and also water, 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 water. We ran out several times last night and I'm pretty sure there's still not any. Um, so just be prepared for all of those things. If I think of anything else, I'll add it, but definitely those things came to mind. Oh, and then another thing that you can bring is like, um, no, I'm okay, I'm okay, thank you. No, I know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what happens. It, it just comes out of surprise. And they force you to drink. No, 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 you don't have to drink if you don't want to. If you really don't want to, this is how you do it. Come here. No, no, thank you. Oh, no, I'm okay. okay. Thank you. Dang, I'm really okay. Because I got this, so, you know. <laughs> it's a really nice day. It's a really nice day. super Colombian, no matter how freaky the party <laughs> is this. There's a little like, okay, let's take that away. There's always room for Jesus, okay? Okay, let's keep that in mind, okay, people? There's always room for Jesus. I think it's here to like make up for the fact that we're bad sometimes and we just like to blow off steam, you know? It's here, it's here if you wanna pray and plead for forgiveness, <laughs> give confession. Also, I'm not saying by that that you have to refuse, you know, obviously, like, refuse a drink if you don't want one, but Colombians will love you if you just take the guardiente and you just take the shot. <laughs> Another thing you have to do is thank the people that cook for you. So here we have the kitchen. Seba. Hola. Hola. El cocino para nosotros. Todas las comidas, bebidas, café en la mañana, aquí para nosotros. Like, basically, 24-7. He's awesome. Make, make friends with him, because then he'll give you, like, some free coffee and stuff. <laughs> also, we have these wonderful numbers right here in case of emergencies. In, you know, the case that somebody gets way, way too drunk. And, you know, if somebody falls and breaks their neck, that's there as well. Safety first. Mis respetos a las personas que limpian <laughs> las fincas. <laughs> and they get everything together. Thank you, Aleria. It's a hard job. It is. No, honestly, but like I can't imagine the people that actually clean fincas and clean every everybody's shit up. Oh my god. Okay, so this is why I say mentally prepare yourself for a finca because you could be like me and I slept four or five hours and I feel great <laughs> or you could be like this person who's still sleeping still very drunk I don't know maybe <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>